there, I'm of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to another edition of the Ghost Stories Report in a, um, a sideshow on the main channel here called Comrades Let's Talk. Now what this is, or what it evolved to over the time is um, I'll talk a bit about the channel and a topic of interest. Now I want to start out first by saying um, when I woke up this morning it was kind of a nice sunny bright day but uh, due to the recent heat wave break in Tokyo we got some rain right now. You can't really see it because of video but it's a nice break I tell you. It feels good. Ah, a bit of rain right. Now on to the channel itself. Now we've had a lot of new subscribers guys and I really deeply appreciate that. You know, I, people, more people are signing up, more people are checking out the videos, a few more people are spreading things around. So I really appreciate that. That's really cool, man. Because the whole point of me even starting this channel like years ago, well, just to kind of get out some ideas, you know, talk about things. And hopefully some people find it interesting and people want to, like, um, comment and share and get information out, you know. That's what this YouTube channel was originally designed for. It's, it's one part of a, a lot of the things I do as a Marxist or a communist, right? It's not everything I do. It's one part. <coughs> so I deeply appreciate, you know, you got new, your new subscribers. And y'all would have been me for years. Now, if you notice, recently I did an interview with a podcast called European News Weekly. It's full of chock fuel cool stuff, the segment I did. And I uploaded the uh, section of their show that I did with the interview with them. If you haven't seen that, I really appreciate you check that out. Um, just forward to know more about what's going on in Japan these days or some cool stuff in that, as far as content there. Uh, check that out. You see on the main page, it's one of the recent uploads. So anyways, on to the main topic I actually want to get into here. I want to get into this idea of breaking the chains of white privilege. Now, it's pretty clear here that I'm a Caucasian. And I'm talking about this, right? So it may seem a bit strange to you, but it really shouldn't be. Because, if you didn't know, white privilege puts chains on white people. Because the majority of Caucasians are not capitalists. We're working class. Just like all the oppressed groups in the world. All the proletarians in the world. You see, the bourgeois, a long time ago, came up with this genius idea to benefit them. To create not only a, a class dictatorship and a capitalism, but also a race dictatorship. And it goes on in many countries, not all countries, but many countries. Well, if you're white, if you're white, you're right. And it gives you certain privileges and rights in society. It gives you an extra voice. And that type of privilege is actually chains for Caucasian proletarians, for Caucasian workers. It actually has limited us and our ability to connect with other human beings, our ability to understand other human beings. Our abilities to function in society harmoniously. Our ability to make friends. Our ability to work with other people. Our ability to achieve anything is limited by this white privilege. And I think it's time, long overdue, that anyone who is Caucasian, anyone who has light colored skin, needs to start to reject white privilege to say, we don't want that anymore. We're sick of that. We're sick of that bullshit. You know, we're sick of being separated that way. From our fellow workers and our fellow human beings. You know, I, a minority person will tell to me all this shit going on that's being done to them. The way they feel, how they live, how they're treated. And I look at the way I'm treated. And I don't deal with those things. Those things never affect me. That's not right. It's not right that I'm excused 
from certain social ills just because I got light colored skin. You know? It prevents me at times from understanding my fellow human being and divides me and separates me from my fellow human being. I don't like that. So yeah, I hate white privilege, man. I hate what it creates. I hate what it does. You know, I just want to get along with everybody. I just want to create a more, a better society. We all can be on equal footing. We can all cooperate and work together. We can all have a better society and be better human beings. But that can't happen until white privilege is gone. Until white privilege is no more. Until there is no privilege based on race, things are going to be kind of fucked up. You know, it ain't right. It's dirty. It's a dirty way to operate society. It's really cheap. And low morals and low ethics to say that because you got some light colored skin, you somehow got an extra voice. But how do we defeat that as Caucasians? How do we break those chains of white privilege from ourselves? We do it by saying hell no to it. We do it by rejecting it. By saying we don't want it. We do it by speaking the words and the voice and the oppression and the pain that those who do not have white privilege feel. We give them a voice. We use white privilege to destroy white privilege. That's a very key thing to remember. You want to destroy white privilege? Use it against white privilege. You know? You know, if the, the capitalist bourgeois class don't want to listen to the oppressive nature of their system, we as Caucasians need to say, look, you see this black guy, you see this Latino guy, you see this Asian guy, here's what he's saying, here's what he's saying, and I agree, it's wrong, I mean, to stop it now, through whatever means are necessary to the proletariat, whatever we have at our disposal, use it, stand by your brothers and sisters, regardless of the color of their skin, stand by them, stand by your fellow proletarians. And say, no, I'm not going to jump over here with these bunch of class privileged white dudes. I'm going to jump over here, right over here, you know, with these people. Because in fact, they got more in common with me than I do with these rich, privileged white folk. And it's true. It's true. I'm so tired of people making excuses for it. You know, saying, well, that's just the way things are. Yeah, human nature is a social construct, genius. It's based on the social structures. You know? Educate yourself on these things. So I'm a bit angry about it. I've never spoke about it before. It's just overtly. But yeah, I don't like it, man. I don't like the way I'm treated. I don't want to be treated with some type of privilege. I want to be equal with people. But I can't do that because of this sick shit called white privilege. It's got to end. The only way to end that, we got to unite together and fight capitalism. You know that, I know that. Everyone's scared to say that, but that's the way it is. But unity among workers and unity among humanity ultimately means you can't have capitalism. You can't. Because capitalism is competition. You're going to fight and fight and fight against each other endlessly. Use anything you can to get advantage over another person. So you can get a few extra money in your pocket and a few more privileges and a few more statuses. It ain't right. It ain't right at all. So I witness by saying, you know, fuck white privilege. And fuck people who like it. And fuck people who make excuses for it. It's got in. One way or another, shit got in. We'll do it by lining ourselves as workers with our fellow workers regardless of the color of their skin. It's pretty clear what to do. So 
So if you like this, spread it around. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Get a conversation started, eh? Until next time, it's me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.